Hello, it's John Lord here and we're going to mention a few plants uh, that look good at the end of May and then we're going to do a bit of planting. Um, but first I want to look at this Acer, Acer Grisium, Sponford's Bark and oh, you know all the talk today about the bees, the bees, the bees, the bees. As it happens, I was never, I, I always thought Acers were wind pollinated but they're bee pollinated. And, have a look. Of course, the bees won't appear. They're camera shy. It was packed. It was there was at least ten small bumblebees, which is the first generation that's been hatched out this year. About a month ago, we had the big queens, which overwintered, and the first generation is really small because the, the queen has trying to do everything trying to look do, and now from now on the queen stays at home and the the broods the, the broods do the do all the harvesting so the next generation gets bigger and so on they get bigger and bigger until until the last one around august but can we see so anyway for pollination trees can be very good it just don't need it doesn't even have to be fancy flowers because that that, that is actually those flowers are hardly noticeable as flowers but the bee notices them. There's one there, I can see one up high. <laughs> and there's another one there. Little bumblebee. See, the, the top of the camera was finished. Mm -hmm. and, um, very dry and sun, very dry here because of the pine tree. What does well and dry? Cystus, that's it. If you have a very dry sunny bank, bone dry, cystus is fantastic. You know, there was two there and one of them died. <laughs> we took it out, don't know what happened. So it's a bit of a gap, we must put a second cystus in. But you can just see how beautiful it is. We have China Girl. Korean Dogwood, that's China Girl. Uh, it's called Korean Dogwood and it's just China Girl, but anyway, I don't make up the names. These are all self-sown, the Astrantias, and what they like is never been dry. They like good wettish conditions and then they're amazing. We're going to go barking because I, I said, I said to them inside that it was going to go barking and they said, well, you were always barking. This is these were plant, this stuff was planted up in the last video and it just needs to be barked. Stop the random weeds coming up. We use them. Um, Mini chip bark. Uh, let's see. And it won't be used again for maybe 10 years. You know. And I'll go through and I'll get, I'll just throw away the clods. And the bark and the mineral soil react together, make really good soil. These are just planted two weeks ago and they're a little bit floppy, but they're, they're, you can see they're okay. So we need to just put a bit more bark on, I could do that later. Now we're going to look at the other dogwood, remember that one, the white one? Carnos causa satomi. Now it's under a little bit of stress because um, 
of all the, the amount of big trees that are sucking all the water out and it's north facing from them. And, and it's probably, that's lovely big Serbian spruce, really, really tall Serbian spruce. So I probably, uh, it will eventually succumb, I think, but I have other ones planted. There's a, there's a nice dogwood there. See that one there? Notice it. Cornish Controversa. Some people call it the wedding cake tree. And that's an upright oak tree. And what have we got over here? It's one of its progeny, little oak tree. I think it's the pedunculid oak, but I'm not certain. Very good, very good evergreen ground cover. Drain your macrohyzum and look. It comes in white and it comes in sort of what dark pink and that's seeded in there and it's it uh, very conveniently seeded in both types. I'd love to get more of this. This has turned out to be Cal Calicanthus Hartley's wine. Uh, uh, it's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's just different. We're going to do a bit of planting. We're spreading bark here. Just finishing it off. But when we're going to do a bit of planting here, and we're going to do a bit of planting here. Now, uh, want something here. And we want something there. And for here, kind of lost. And somebody was looking for this plant uh, yesterday and I said we don't have it. I, it's, it's queen something. It's a gem. It's queen something. And I said there's no way. Gems got real tight together. You can't get a split. And when I looked at it, I was able to get a nice piece for it. So what we're going to do take it up. Sorry about that. Put it here. Interesting combination, isn't it?
one. That's a pity. That was very good there. No, no, we'd, we'd get something else for there. And that's the original. This is new. That's the original. It's there. And the reason I changed it, it was for my convenience when I was doing it. It wasn't done out of any, uh, to do with any great design reasons. Two. I don't like the bark. I like mineral soil. You know, ordinary soil around it, not bark on the roots. Just ordinary soil. The bark's for only the top. That one is very small. Four. This is nearly this soil, as I said before, it was dug up to get rid of bamboos and stuff. So it's nearly as good, it's nearly as loose as the soil the television gardeners use. <laughs> It's not like my normal soil. Here we go. And where's there's a little one somewhere. Where does it? Oh, there. There we go. Now we put them here. Hmm. Now, that's, what do we do next? Basically, butcher the plant. Little bit off the leaves. That's that, that's the GM done. Now we have to hammer it out with water. If that wasn't water today or tomorrow, it would be dead. It would actually die. And it will grow back very quickly and it will reflower this year, I guarantee that. That's this one. Now we need something for there. We need something for here. We need something for there. You know, this one. I don't know, that's quite nice, isn't it? Very fluffy, isn't it? We're going to have to get a place for that. I might put that over there. That's a heucara. A flowering heucara. Very lovely plant lovely thing that's been there years as well never touched that can look after itself but I'm gonna go for a different color 
Let's go over here. This is cheap gardening. This garden centre's gone very expensive. I can't afford the plants. Cost of living. What about this? It's uh, a polymonium that uh, it's called lambric mauve and it doesn't set seed so it tends to flower for oh look at this here that's a different gene near that gene you see it does work can we get some this, this needs to be barked here look weed The miscanthus are no longer doing very well because it's just got too shaded for the miscanthus, they like a more open situation. So we probably removed the miscanthus. They were great in olden days. And this was here first. Now, can we get any? Lumps. That'll do us. Yeah, that's the next job. It's so easy. You can see the moss on it, the sphagnum moss. That's a sign there's very low nutrition in the top because it's been there so long. And in Ireland, you get uh, sphagnum moss grown. That's how bogs really form, you know. Because... And it has, it's not gone down deep. See how shallow it is? Still thriving. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one more. Now I have to plant these. Now, the same system again as the last video. Um, put excess soil in here, you don't want to get the bark dirty. what this is here We get coil, coil to uh, to water them. I'll show Kobe. We have a new lad working for his coil. He's great, young lad, great goer. He he loves it. When you're doing work like this, high season you are against the clock. You're working against the clock. And 
the people say oh the prominent plants feed feed is always the least likely issue big issue the main issue is water water is always the main issue if a plant has enough feed it'll just slow its growth down it won't kill it but if it has enough water it's a different matter Even I'm not I'm immediately taking these off. Take the pressure off. video day because I have to get water in these plants. So you, you would have a few hours. and do the last one. Um, what next? Now you can understand the reason why people buy stuff in pots because it's instant, that's in pots, that's for splits. So you have to wait a bit. But it's coming across nicely here. Just need something for here. But um, maybe these. Hmm. We'll have a. What else could we put there? They would. They would definitely work. Kind of lost in here. Have a look. What we have. Same carry on again. I didn't know they had they they went like that. Five. We were, I wasn't even going to do this. I, I have other plants. Six. Right here. One. 
to do. Three. Mineral soil, not the bark. One. It doesn't have to ma match up exactly because they're gonna, oh that's. Get better. See, I I buried some of the weeds. I was, one, two, three, four, five, six. And as I said before, that ground is not normally like this. Boards. Kind of boring watching this, but uh, if you think you've too much leafage, do that. Pull leaves off. Less leaves, the better. Planted here, we did those yesterday for Cosmias, Jane Kai Monster, GM, and the last one, uh, um, what's that one again? Polymonium Lambert Mobile, and this is what we're going to do. And I'll just show this, they were finished. Now, I shouldn't really be doing this. Don't do this in your own garden. Taking up a few roses because I want to put a clump of stuff in here. Show you something here. See that rose? We're going to pot that up. That's perfect. That'll be perfect. Believe it or not, if it's done within the next hour or something, I'll dry it up. So we're going to... I'm going to take that rose. I'm going to take uh, this rose. It's a small, I've got the 
roast so we can see that by burning that's Kilimanjaro sunrise that one best at uh, Chelsea a few years ago um, when Chelsea wasn't just promoting it seems to be just promoting weeds now for some reason but that's a phase that will that will pass that's just a phase um, and finish off one thing to finish off yeah what are we going to put here we're going to put something big here and different than that that's Inula Magnifica so we're going to put we're going to put and we'll have a look over here a few things go around here and we'll have a look but we're not doing it gonna do it now because I have to get watering there isn't a society for the prevention of cruelty to plants is there I know there is one to animals but I hope there isn't This short persicaria at the front where I'm taking up the roses, this one here, a clump of that. And then I'm gonna dig up this Philopendula. It's lovely cerise pink, a real strong pink. And that's going to go in in the uh, in the middle for a height and it's very different than the big leafed ones that's why i'm going to do it and then when that's all done i'll decide now funnily if you plant those plantings that i've done now coming into a week before june they've all june and all july all august by mid by certainly by mid july you will never know those plants are moved they'll have just grown back 100 percent and be really healthy okay let's just finish up here in the, that's a great shot, that's a total fluke. Just finish up here with another viburnum. I, I think I'm obsessed with viburnums. I love the vibes.